it's still November 26, 2018. I hope that all of you circulate this video far and wide. I do want to thank my subscriber for linking to this video below one of my videos in the comments section. If this is an accurate translation of what you are about to hear, then it's just more evidence that this migrant caravan is orchestrated. And so is the migrants flooding European countries. And it's glaring, so I don't have to point out what proves that this caravan, no, it wasn't 7,000 people waking up in Honduras and Guatemala and El Salvador saying to themselves, I've got to flee the violence in my country so I've got to get to the United States to seek asylum. That in itself is an absurdity that is so obvious it just slaps you right upside your head. But no, Americans, they've given up thinking. Here it is. Les dije, podemos ingresar por el puente o podemos ingresar ilegalmente. Todos. Pero eso sí, hay dos maneras de pedir a los Estados Unidos asilo político. La primera es pedir asilo en un puerto de entrada en los Estados Unidos. Es por la frontera, con el número. Eso puede tardar uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco o seis meses para ser llamado. Y segunda, es presentar una solicitud de asilo una vez que usted, escuche, y la segunda es una vez que usted está físicamente en los Estados Unidos sin importar si usted entró a los Estados Unidos con permiso o ilegal. Tratemos de escuchar lo que el diputado del Parlamento Europeo trae. Si ellos traen una noticia buena para nosotros, en la que no tengamos que salir para allá, aceptemos la señora. Si no traen una noticia buena, pues tomemos la decisión de salir. Ahora les voy a decir una cosa. We make the decision to leave. How is it that the European Parliament, a member of the European Parliament, is going to be giving the leader of this migrant caravan news? And that news will determine whether they leave or whether they perhaps storm the border again? Really? The link is below.